Dude, welcome! Are we rolling? So he does this. He sees Zach Wilson go like this. He thought to himself, this isn't Brigham Young. <laughs> <laughs> Boys are going to answer your videos. Any questions, comments, you yeah. guys want to talk about, drop in the inbox and let us know. Rochelle Ryan comes in and says, what kind of videos are we talking, boys? <laughs> <laughs> I could take Rich Eisen's job tomorrow. It's a bus without an engine. When you say Taylor Lewan tells you to get on the bus, just finish the alley. John wants to be on the podcast so bad. It's going to float around the office. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm so afraid. <laughs> I'm sweating more. I'm oh. sweating so bad. I'm right, over enjoying this. I'm Jacob. I was just wondering. Some guy who's in the NFL right now threw a burrito at me in college. Apparently the kid went to Iowa. It was a kiddo. I imagine. <laughs> Nebraska loves the boys, man. Where's Taylor? Man, I thought he was going to come. Yeah, I'm just going to be in Nebraska spring band. When they took the dude in the third round, the linebacker with the tight yeah. I was like, oh, pipeline dream might be over with the boys. Did you wonder at all if that dude was a left tackle? <laughs> hey, that was a little something. Dude, welcome. Are we rolling? Listen, we had a bit of a deal. Is that for the... Oh, that we weren't clapping. Just to make sure for Bloss, you that know how he gets. Bloss is weird about that shit, dude. Like, just fucking edit it, right? <laughs> yeah, it's that simple. <laughs> dude, my mouse talking, it picks it up on the thing, and then that thing records me. Splice them together. Yeah. Shit's not difficult. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's not rocket science. Production is not that hard. Yeah. What's harder, Bloss, being a cop or doing the most easy shit in the world this? Tell us. What is harder, boss? For real, like, you know. Uh, I would say... I mean, they're cl clearly different. But yeah. <laughs> no, I would say being a cop is a little bit harder. A little bit harder? A little bit harder? <laughs> a, little bit harder. <laughs> a little bit harder than cutting tape? A little bit. What's harder, being a cop or uh, watching a franchise pick a guy that play, uh, was D1 AA, top three pick? With the third pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select... Trey Lance, quarterback, North Dakota State. And it is the Bison. What's harder to swallow? Oh, the 49ers. Yeah, the 49ers. Yeah, I see where you're going with that. Super Bowl. Losers? No, winners. Oh, you guys are going to win the Super Bowl yeah. this year? No, not this year. Well, what are you guys' record going to be this year? This year, uh, off the cuff, 13-3. Off the cuff. Off the cuff. And off the cuff. Hat didn't look at it. Oh, wait, yeah. there's 17 games this year, though, right? Yeah, so 13 yeah, or 4? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I like Oh, that I, is true. But also, I like Trey Lance. I really do. Yeah. I don't know the kid. I'm sure he's a super talented. He's way more talented than I am at quarterback. But I just did that to get under your get under your skin. Right? We'd love to have Trey Lance here and sit down with us. Yeah, like, sometimes we, we just like to be a fan and ruffle the old feathers. Yeah, sometimes we like to be a fan and kind of be a hater. Yeah. But not really be a hater, just ruffle the feathers. Yeah. And like that, this podcast is brought to you by Barstool Sports and Chevrolet. The world's strongest, most advanced Silverado ever. This is this truck is dependable, just like the people who drive them. You. And a partner with grit and determination. Anything is possible in this Silverado. It's Anything. big, bold, commanding. This truck turns heads. And the boy Taylor, he's going to let you know what the Silverado can do. You can haul anything, tow anything, and do just about anything. Yelling. That's what the Chevy Silverado does. When someone asks you, hey, what's that do? Just say, anything, dude. That should be Chevrolet, Chevrolet's motto. What can you guys do? Everything and anything. Yes. Two, two words. Everything and anything. I love that, dude. Add an and in there. Three words. Go to a Chevy dealership near you. Let them know the boy sent you. Did yep. I say dealership? Did Shit. I say it right? No, you used a P, not a T. Okay, yeah. Go to a Chevy dealership near you and let them know the boy sent you. We sent you. And this podcast, it's just the boys. We're going to be recapping all this stuff. We're going to have a lot of fun today. Um, I have it's no hot. clue what Alex it's has in out. store for us. It is a little hot. Yeah. The generator went out. Twice. Taylor, Taylor and I show up. The first... Now I'll take that back because I said probably 145, but which in my one, in my fantasy probably, probably 145 to show up to do the pod because yeah. I was like we got the meeting at one yeah well it'll probably be short you put an no insurance policy in there yeah yeah say yeah. probably 145 you but didn't it, say 100 we're starting at 145 yeah right but so in my fantasy them. world of thinking that we do the pod at two yeah roll I'll, I remember talking to you on the phone I was like oh the boy's already on his way it's gonna be great this you could be hear me in my truck yeah I just being responsible and shit I'm pulling in it's like 157 158 I'm like I'm gonna go show up at two I'm gonna show the boys the jackets gonna show them the new gear. And new walk helmets. in. We got new helmets. Walk in. Oh. And no one, nothing is on. Nothing. No one's talking. Nope. And apparently the generator goes out. 
Who who would you put that on if you had to put that on anybody? Jack. No question about it. I think Jack too. Yeah. I think Jack too. Yep. Because Jack, he's been going to Booth, Booth Club. Yep. And shout he, out, shout out. Booth and he camp. probably thought, he probably thought dragging the old generator out there. Yeah. It's I gonna, don't need this shit. He probably think he probably thought I'm getting a little stronger. Yeah. It's like, no, Jack. It's just light. Stronger it's out of gas. Stronger physically or stronger emotionally? <laughs> oh, physically. Well, yeah, pain. like he's pulling. He's, he's like, like oh, this is. He's like, man, Booth, I've been booth, yeah, booth's paying off for me now. Yeah. It's getting a little light. Yeah. I'm dragging this thing out here. And little bit sure enough, enough, gas fucking, runs out. If there's no slosh, there needs to be slosh. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's the gas moving around. <laughs> Sorry, Jack. We needed to use you as the blame game so that way we could go into that bit and have a little fun. But That's also, cool. Jack, I do believe that is your fault. Whole, whole Can you state your case then? Why it's my vote? Well, I love you, Jack. Back there. It's One, tread. you have you a girlfriend tread. now. Jack has Who's? a girlfriend now. Do you? And I think no, you're distracted. I, I think you're distracted. I think you're at booth camp. You're at booth camp working out all the time. Distracted. All right? We came here, dude. You were a supple, supple, little, tiny nugget when we got a hold of you, dude. You need, You had hardly any hair on <laughs> your upper lip. And father you were bit. scrawny. <laughs> You were a scrawny little biscuit, dude. And when I do, I preheat that oven to 450. And I put your ass in there for fucking 15 to 20 minutes. And I waited until you were golden brown. And then I pulled you out and I put some honey on you. And now that you're ready to be eaten, dude, you want to go and do all this other shit? Get a girlfriend, a beautiful girlfriend, I might add. Okay. And you don't want to remember gas? Hey, he's sitting there. You know he's sitting there like, because they're he, not in a relationship. He's, he's like, so gosh, damn it, dude. He's so uncomfortable, dude. Let's give him a minute to talk. I mean, what's there to talk about, I guess? What do you mean? How about where do I start? Where then, do I start? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Have some fucking conviction in your voice, dude. <laughs> I didn't put you in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes for you to sit here and stumble on your goddamn words. <laughs> no offense to God. The guy who... We haven't seen Don't look Taylor at me. Please don't look at me. Please don't look yeah. at me. We haven't seen you in a while, and you're going to come <laughs> here yep. shitting on my parade. Right. So I, I'm confused <laughs> where, 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 where I've been coming from. Yeah. Where I've been? Yeah. Let me tell you something, Jack. Please. You see the angle that these fucking cameras are at right now? They're pointed this way, buddy. Hey, a lot right? of loud voices. They're a lot of loud voices. No. A lot no. of loud voices. They're pointed this way. So if I want to be here or not, I will. Or Dang. I won't. Right? George Kittle did a great job. Did George Kittle do a great job? He did a phenomenal job. He's one of the job. best tight ends in the league. He is. He, oh, okay. oh, oh, but here, here's Blaskett. <laughs> That's the thing in his mouth. Dude. <laughs> here comes Mr. We'll 49 in a second. Fucking the fuzz back there, dude, keeping us correct. So do you have a girlfriend? <laughs> no. Are you talking to somebody right now? Yeah. Is I'm it mutually good. exclusive? Yeah. You guys, are you, would you be upset if she was also talking to somebody else? Uh... Probably, yeah. Are you making him DTR right here on the no, podcast? No, no, no. Okay. Maybe. Because she might Maybe listen. Maybe I am. Does she, she listen? She don't listen. I don't think she listens, but I'm sure this will... I'll have Bloss I'll, I'll have Bloss sync this clip up, dude, and I'm going to DM her. I'm going to slide in her DMs and be like, watch this clip. Because we got to let... If boot, you want to know how, got, how your boy feels about you, yeah. this is it right here, dude. We got to let Sean know that we gave him a little booth camp plug. Yeah. And so he's going to watch it, and then I'm sure... He'll tell her. Whatever happens, What's her happens. name? We're not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> What's her name? What's for her, her for her sake? I'm not gonna put her out there like that. Smooth. I think that's respectable. Smooth. Hey, Jack, trying to stay like under radar. I dude. know. No, I'm not. He's trying to keep all them options open, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, this. Hey, Rochelle Ryan, sweetie. You trying to have your cake and Who? eat it too? Rochelle I'm just Ryan. kidding. Ryan. Oh, who's Rochelle Ryan? <laughs> Don't pigeonhole yourself in that, yeah, dude. Who's Rochelle Ryan? The uh, picture that they sent in the group chat the other day. Alex posted the thing that said, hey, anybody wants to put videos, we're going to now do like, the boys are going to answer your videos. Any questions, comments you yeah. guys want to talk about, drop in the inbox and let us know. He gave him a little Dropbox link. Sure. And uh, what's her last name? Rochelle what? Rochelle Ryan. Is Rochelle, that, her, is that her, her stage name or is that her real name? You'd have to ask her. Rochelle Ryan comes in and says, what kind of videos are we talking, boys? <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking! Imagine she's just get, going to town and asking us a question. The speed that I ran to the Dropbox after that. <laughs> <laughs> just hey, uh, hey, you, hey! After this, after we're done with this podcast, Jack, I want you to go and buy all these guys except for Garrett a beer, dude, because they just changed the subject so well. <laughs> they did such a good job of fucking transitioning. Did you feel that little oh, tension oh. from I what it sounds like? Know, Garrett, dude, you kept that camera game. on play. No, it's actually not. Oh, what it feels like is as you, you know, you got a tattoo, you got a tattoo, right? He's got lots Over of tattoos. Over at Taylor's place. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, 
It seems like you guys had you guys were building you guys had something going, some momentum, and it seems like it stopped a little bit and you've been kind of off the radar and he hasn't heard from you. Cause there's a lot of yelling back and forth. I felt like there's a lot of emotion so going doing. back and forth. We're but gonna, I'm saying I felt like we're it was like unravel a, this onion right here. Aren't we? <laughs> we're gonna bring we're gonna bring it all to the it, dinner it table. It does feel like this is coming from a different place. I care about you so but much. You you, 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 I, I you were reacting. You. Huh? I say you were reacting too. Oh, I'm you, saying it seems like warm. me and Taylor are both saying, emotional people. I'm saying no it seems question. like you guys hey, just ultimately miss each other. Sleeve, so yeah, hey. I mean, he he's right. He he. There was one when we were in Florida with his uh, ACL surgery. He Don't gave me a uh, actually no, it was my birthday. Oh, he's talking. Kamala. He's talking the origination of this it's friendship. His birthday. It's well, his birthday. when he's talking about the whole biscuit thing, putting me in the oven, he gave me a little pump up talk. It was like you got to get in the. You guys don't know that I actually put you in the oven, did you? Yeah. He's well, you said honey. I didn't know. I'm at Kava with this dude. I'm pointing at girls. See her? Get her no problem. See her? Get her no problem. See her? You don't want her, but you get her no problem. <laughs> You're good looking cat. And here's how you do X, Y, and Z. Yeah. You know? Because the way he came at you with talking about busting with the boys, I'm thinking, okay, Jack, what's behind the old layer over there? Here's so what I think. Here's what I think like happened some, there. There's some... Here's what I think happened there. I think he, when you get backed in the corner, fight or flight hits. True. Right? That's and true. And the boy, bless his heart, yeah. hit that fight way faster hit that flight. <laughs> he didn't get out of the bus <laughs> yeah, at all. Yeah, yeah, He goes, where the fuck have you been? Yeah. And you know what I said to myself inside? <laughs> Proud of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I fucking said. Like when he started coming at me, I was like, now I got to raise my voice yeah, because I got to feel like, you know, we got to equal out what's going on here because right. now he's pushing buttons. Yeah. But in my, in my chesticle, I was like, proud of him, you know? <laughs> sounds like you're doing well. It sounds like, it sounds like <laughs> confidence is a huge thing on you. Well, confidence have, looks good on you, Jack. I don't have any beers, but I do have two things for you guys. Actual, actual presence. So this has been a weird exchange, but I think it's coming back to a, a good. So after the five, we this wrap. Is, I got some things for you on the car. God, blame him for the generator. Get gifts out of it. That's how that works. Treat him like dirt. Stick to you like mud, dude. That's the old saying. That's what you. That's what you. That's have taught. fucking. That that's what, what we you do. Have taught, dude. I appreciate that. Uh, Jack's here, uh, as everybody now knows. He's on. He's on the bus. He's talking to somebody, but not enough to say their name. So go ahead and slide in those DMs and see what happens. <laughs> uh, Bloss, the NFL draft happened uh, this past weekend. Lots of stuff. Um, but let's start with you. Let's start with you. Um, oh, never mind. Has it put, been 12 minutes since the Chevy read? It's been minutes already. We got to go. Since the put end the of the on. Chevy read? Ladies and gentlemen, Blockfolio. Uh, it's a busting with the boys at. Blockfolio is the world's most popular mobile app for cryptocurrency tracking and trading. Build your portfolio and follow the prices of more than 100,000 coins. 10,000. 10,000 coins. <laughs> Drop a zero. Never mind. <laughs> Get a phone <laughs> notification update directly from the projects you care about. Projects you care about. God, the font. Buy and sell Bitcoin, e Ethereum, 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 Dogecoin, which I heard was a joke, which is hilarious. That's ironically worked out. And top other and uh, other, other top, top tokens <laughs> with, with absolutely zero fee. Let me finish and get free coin with with every trade over ten dollars. I don't know if that's ten coins or just ten regular dollars. Visit the App Store and download Blockfolio for free today. The NFL Draft is coming up, a.k.a. already happened. Typo, Alex. And more and more <laughs> NFL players continue to invest Fuck in crypto. You, <laughs> Panthers off its lineman, Russell Okung, became the first NFL player to be paid in Bitcoin this past season. Blockfolio, investing for the crypto generation. Overall, that was solid. Hey, I enjoyed that. Listen, I'm, a, I'm not the best reader. Hey, um, I, but I feel I'm proud of all those words. <laughs> As you point to it, hey, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of every I'm single word I read words. there. Even the ones that weren't on the paper yeah. when I read. I'm proud of those ones, dude. Did you see where um, first overall pick, Trevor Lawrence? Yeah. Oh, got wait, hold on. Maybe we should tell people why the alarm went off and that the new thing we've decided well, yeah, to do. Yeah, let's do it. So a new thing we've decided to do is we usually film our podcast and then do the ads. But we thought... Why not just put them in regularly? So when when Bloss sounds the alarm, Bloss, will you hit me with the alarm real quick? When he sounds the alarm, we have to stop everything we're doing and say the ad. Why? Because you guys listen, your listens become checks, checks become keeping this bus alive. You like the lights in my face? You see how I'm sweating? Can't afford AC? That's the alarm. Can't afford AC yet, but hopefully if you guys keep listening, you keep <laughs> right, buying right. merch. Because you're sweating over I'm there. I'm fucking <laughs> hey, leaking, You're dude. sweating over I'll there. I'll tell you what, you know what it is? This is the sweat of a dad proud of his son. I can't get over Jack, dude. I'm fucking proud of his ass. I'm looking I'm at you. You look like there, you look dude. like Jelly Roll sitting over there. On like I, God damn, Jelly was leaking, yeah. dude. 
We had to wash that thing down. We actually bought a new couch after he left. Yeah, we did. We took him to the car wash nearby. It actually soaked through leather. Who would have thought, right? Uh, NFL draft. The Jacksonville Jaguars. But hey, Trevor Lawrence, what I was going to say, did you see he got his like signing bonus in in crypto? Isn't it like $22 million too? What was the signing I think it was Ethereum too. What is that? What is that? Like, we got to figure out. I, I'm telling we gotta you, we got to figure that out. out cryptocurrency because I feel like we're going to be left behind soon. Yes. I look at my paper dollars and I'm like, this is bullshit. Yeah. I'm living in the past. There's Am a I lot trading of beavers and pelts now. Yes. Dude? It's fucking and bullshit. being guys that have serious anxiety with FOMO, like when we when people talk about that Dogecoin taking off and the crypto stuff happening, God. I get a lot of fear. Inside. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like I am missing out on this one. Now, granted, I don't know if somebody put five dollars in the uh, their portfolio and they they, you know, moved it up to $15 and they're just tweeting away, talking about to the moon. Probably. Probably but, that's what's happening. Yeah. But I get a lot of FOMO because I think everybody's out there getting rich right Everyone's now. Everyone's making bills. Yeah. Everyone's and got I'm three commas off. in their bank accounts. Yes. We're looking like, looking like assholes. Yeah. We're stuck like on that. the US dollar. But I am not. I now have Blockfolio. I downloaded the app. I'm in, I'm in some, you know, don't trust me. I'm not a financial guy. I'm in Doge. I'm in Ethereum. And I'm in a little Bitcoin. I'm in the big three that they stayed in the ad read. Yeah. I go. covered the ad Let's read. go. Yeah. Do you use Blockfolio? Yeah. Goddamn yes, right absolutely. you do. Absolutely. GD right. Have you downloaded Blockfolio? I have downloaded Blockfolio. You're I need to put my username right, and password. I got to do the whole thing. Boys, you guys have Blockfolio? Yeah, yes, you do. Good yes, job, boys. Do. One thing that you did that uh, gave me FOMO that I'm now on is Penn Stock. You're in. I'm, I'm not in, in. I'm at a buy. I love that. So if the stock goes under a certain amount, then I'll buy. Because I check and every time to see if you're in yet. No, it's hefty. What's it at right now? What's what's Penn, Penn Stock at right now? Uh, I can look it up, but the, back to the Trevor Lawrence thing. Yeah. 22.6. <laughs> 22. $22.6 million in, in Ethereum. Uh, yeah. Bitcoin and Ethereum. So Is that, that what that... All, all of that? <laughs> hey, we told you not to put question marks on the teleprompter, <laughs> goddammit. <laughs> all of that? <laughs> Yo. 22 hey, million. look. Uh, investment with Blockfolio. He's with Blockfolio. Of course he is. The best app in the market. I love it, dude. Pen um, is at, pen's around 90 bucks right now. Well, we need that to drop 10 more dollars. So you're, you're willing to say what your buy is at? Well, yeah, I kind of just did, didn't yeah. I? <laughs> take the 90, subtract the 10. <laughs> and that makes around 80. 80 yeah, around, around 80. There, right? Give or take. Give or take. Ish. Give or take. <laughs> and then we need that fucker to go up, dude. 80 and then 170. Like Dave said, and then buy I'll get the up. dips. What? Stocks only go up. If you panic, you die. This is a battlefield. People are shooting. Everyone's fumbling. They're fumbling with their gun here. It's like they can't get it out. The guy who's just calm and like, bang, wins. No pun intended. I wish I didn't use that, but it's green. It's a hammer. You know what I mean. So stay calm. Stay cool. Stay collected. Buy pen. Not a financial advisor. Buy the dip. That's what I do. Not a financial advisor. What's that? Like Dave said, buy the dips. Yeah, dude. Um... By the way, I don't want to go too much into it, but when that video came out of Dave and the way he handled it, it's just how you wish everyone would handle their stuff, yeah. right? Yeah. I am so... The I'm, confidence and like the, so what? I fuck. Yeah. Good for him. And like, I get a little weird. I've gotten older. Like, you got to get a little kinky in the yeah. bedroom. I showed it at the tail end, kind of like, hey, I'm hoping this will spark something yeah. with her. Hoping she'll look at that and go, I could get choked. You know <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying? And spit on. Yeah. And she doesn't. She wasn't into it, which is unfortunate for the rest of my life. Yeah. But <laughs> you're like, oh um, man, it's crazy what Dave's doing right here. That's crazy. Huh? Yeah, it to her. Try anything twice, right, babe? Yeah. And she's like, no. and she's like, oh my gosh, that's insane. You're like, yeah, insanely that's, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I hit him with the question. Yeah, awesome. yeah what a sick, awful. Which yeah. one are we talking about here? Long story short, the boy's taking an L on that one. Uh, and then he said, then he said, buy the dip. He buy said, pen's going down because of my sex tape, but buy the dip. And guess who did? Me. Hey, I did too. I did too. <laughs> but Trevor Lawrence, uh, yeah, we are the worst podcast ever, dude. We can't keep track of nothing. I know. But $22.6 million, whatever it was, in just uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum, that's pretty damn cool that he did that. I'm Now I'm not sure. My thing. Like, I, don't even, I don't even know what that means. My thing was this. So they've talked about it as far as investment, right? And also Bitcoin becoming the new dollar. My question is, is, is if okay if it becomes if if Bitcoin happens to be the future dollar, mm. right? And everybody starts getting in the Bitcoin, doesn't that diminish the riches you have in dollars now? I don't know. In what do you mean? Like if it becomes a new dollar, like okay, I'll give you by the time it gets to where it is, like all right, I'll give you 0.5 Bitcoin and I'll buy that car off of you. Yeah. 
And that's what now what you're paying. That's your new. That's the new dollar. Yeah. If the dollar's gone, then what's it matter if it's at sixty some thousand dollars now? You're right, because you shouldn't look at. I'm a super rookie in this, but you shouldn't be looking at what Bitcoin is worth in dollars. You should understand that it's its own currency, and there's a finite amount of it. So they're not making any more of it. So having it creates scarcity in the market. Am I, I feel like you're just glazed over already. So no, no, I'm listening. <laughs> okay. That's that's my that's my listening. There's only, okay, there's, that's my listening. If, Will, if Will's mouth open, that's how you digest yeah, it. I thought I lost He's got to yeah. funnel it through his mouth. There's only so that's much Bitcoin in the world. Like there's only <laughs> so much gold in the world or diamonds in the world or something. And so because of that, there's scarcity. And so the value goes up on it. Here's what I don't understand. If you said there's only, there's no more of it, like why do people mine Bitcoin, though, if they figure out these algorithm, algorithms, how do they mine Bitcoin? They don't anymore, in my, from my understanding. Uh huh. I think my, I think the mining days of Bitcoin are over, which is why you've seen all these other Bitcoins sprout up. I'm going to get dragged by somebody. If you know what this is, please actually correct me because I don't know what We would love to have yeah. somebody on or call somebody yeah. in that explain some Bitcoin. That's NFT is another thing I want to know about. Yeah. Right? I don't understand NFT at all. I it's don't like, get can it. we take certain clips of our pod and make it into an NFT? Yeah. We probably like the could. highlight tape Taylor made of me. Can that be an NFT? I sell yeah. that for uh, as much as people would buy it for. I was going to put a number on it, but you know what? <laughs> yeah. I yeah. think I'd take anything at this yeah, point, right. you know? As long as it's in Bitcoin or right. Dogeco Dogecoin or Etherism. <laughs> Ether. <laughs> Hey, I got some one of my friends, and he has to re remain anonymous, but he just got signed with Blockfolio, and he just purchased the largest NFT purchase to date right now. And my, What's the largest purchase to date? It's like $230,000-something dollars for this NFT, the non fund Look it up and see who bought it, then we'll know who it is. That, that Old Dominion one is $6 million or something. Yeah. Well, it, it, maybe Old Dominion? I'm, I'm probably $6 million? It wrong, dollars. Good for Old Dominion. It's, um... Like, Logan and what, um, so what I don't understand is like, let's say you took the Outback Bowl, the clowny hit, right? The clowny yeah. hit happens. You can, I can take that, turn it into an NFT. This is me turning it into it. And I can send it out there. Boss goes, I want to buy that for a hundred thousand dollars. You buy that. But ESPN, NFL network, clowny, me, anybody can go and put that on their social media, on the network. And that's fine. But you own the clip. But the uh, everybody else is still. So what it. Mark Cuban said to the people who were talking about trading cards was, yeah, you can go and print out uh, that same picture on Google and cut it out, and you can pretend that that's your thing, or they can tweet it as a picture, but you still have the only card. Looking at it as just like think about it as art. So like the Mona Lisa, we all know what that looks like because you can Google it and see what it is. But the actual original that's in wherever that is the Louvre, wherever that's worth whatever it's. That's worth. a way better yeah, example. If, that's a way better example. Yeah, but if it's digital. There's no fucking difference between me owning it versus NFT and Google. Right. So why would you buy it? Like the digital part can't, the digital Mona Lisa can't hang on your wall. Well, it doesn't have the actual paint on the canvas. And people out here laughing at us and whatever, go ahead. But this is the majority, I feel like, of the, I feel of like the world. This is everybody are, that wants to talk about it. everybody else is. We're going to start making NFTs. Boston with the Boys is going to start making yeah. NFTs. You heard it here first. We don't know how that's even in it. We don't even know... We had to go find like a 12 year old kid that only fucking is like Rayman, dude. Who's like, mining these computers. NFTs? Yeah. And he's just a, oh, he puts his fucking glasses up every six seconds. And pops dude. his knuckles right. the old way. Like, oh, you guys need me to do some NFTs? <laughs> I'm on it. <laughs> and starts and fucking awesome. going, dude. Yeah, oh. Brolic. Yes, dude. <laughs> fucking get in there, Joey, whatever your name is. His name wouldn't be Joey. I'm glad we talked about this. I'm glad I heard you talk about it too because sometimes you feel like you're the only one. And it's like, also, am I an idiot? You know when you have FOMO, like when you're in college and like all the boys go out or whatever and you yeah. don't get the invite for whatever reason, maybe yeah. something happened, maybe you upset somebody. <laughs> you don't talk to that upset feeling. You don't talk to people and say, oh man, I really wish the boys invited me out. Like, and that makes you have more FOMO. Yeah. I feel like my FOMO of NFT and Bitcoin and Ethereum and Doge, Dogecoin have kind of diminished a little bit because I'm sitting in a room with my friends and we're all confused. You yes. know, and that's nice. Yeah. That's nice to have comfort in my confusion. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Ignorance is bliss, as they say. Good energy. Good, Good energy. energy. Good energy for the boys. I love that, dude. Um the the draft, um, the next pick after uh Trevor Lawrence was Zach Wilson, correct? From BYU. Yep. Have you guys seen the video of Zach Wilson and like Je not Justin Jefferson, but Jamar Chase? Like they're doing a video, they're scanning. All the players that are there for the draft and like uh gets a Jamar, it's like Jamar Chase and then Zach Wilson's right. Where he does him. a hand sign. He like does this. Like he just does a quick little like I love you or whatever. That's, that's, that's I love you, right? Oh, I have I no you. clue. So what does that what backward mean? I hate you? Oh, that's rock on. That's Shaka. I love you. I love you. 
you I, you love I? Is that what it is when it's no, backwards? It's I love you more. It's I love you more. This okay, so he, so he does this. And then literally you can see Zach Wilson go like this. <laughs> and he got like, so like, he, thought to, he thought to himself, this isn't Brigham Young. <laughs> <laughs> like, they fucking put the kid in a box and he was just no, there, dude. Corey Levin is with the kid. Well, this isn't Brigham. I can't be associated with this. How do we, you know, what are we <laughs> going next? This is wild, dude. He's kind of like step back behind them, too. He does get like fucking pulled back by it. But other than that, I know nothing about uh, them. So yeah. congratulations on being the second overall pick. Yeah, and having a good uh, viral moment. Yeah, a huge viral moment, dude. And then the Niners pick Trey Lance. Trey Lance. Oh, oh, it's time. <clears throat> well, you're up, baby. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> take it serious. Take it serious. Take hey, it this serious. episode is also brought to you by Free Fly. Brands send us clothing all the time, and there aren't too many that I can actually say that I love to wear on a consistent basis. Consistently. There is one brand that is so ridiculously Only comfortable, one. and it's become my go-to for the past year and a half. Yep. Free Fly makes performance clothing made from buttery soft bamboo, and it literally feels like buttery soft bamboo clothing. Warm butter. It feels like Taylor's Biscuits that he's talking about, where you warm them up in the oven, yeah. and they come out so fluffy and soft. It's literally a Jack. You're talking about Jack. Yeah, but you put Jack in the oven, but if, it's your analogy. I recently tried there. It says insert favorite product here, but here's what I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say, go to the site, yeah. scroll down. When you find the long sleeve tee, that is the camouflage one. That is my favorite piece of clothing. Could have just said the camouflage one and kept going, but keep going. What do you mean? You said, I, I, and you said insert favorite product. And then you said, you could have said the camo tee one on the website, but instead you said, Hey, I'm going to stop there. Instead, I'm going to say, you go to the website and then you scroll down and then you go to the camo long sleeve t-shirt. When well, you could have just said, Camel long sleeve t-shirt and then it would have been but go just do the rest yeah, of the yeah, yeah. and i have to say <laughs> that t-shirt is the best dude the free best. fly's got he's got a nice little camel hat to go with it their clothes are the best go check it out whether you're inside outside hitting the gym lounging around the house the shit is legit on top of being super comfortable free flies bamboo clothing has ups sun protection wicks away moisture wicks. and doesn't hold over i could use one of those right now dude i'm telling you Leaking. and it works because my pit i pit hard you do my right more than my left i know but in my free fly one zero my left and only a little cute they tries to fight like it's, a, like it's kind of adorable yeah and it's and Free Fly is wicking that shit away, dude. No. It's insane. You can get 20% off when you visit freeflyapparel.com slash bussin. Again, that's Repeat freeflyapparel.com slash bussin. Dude, that was so good. That was a good one. I really liked the, your energy and the entire time. I love when, when you cut into this and with this. Yeah. Because I do see your pits sometimes. And when you're wearing a light gray shirt, right? it's very obvious. But when I see you in, in Firefly, I'm like, wow. He must be cool as a cucumber right you now. You know what I'm thinking now? Free fly. Free fly. Firefly is the thing that helps you. This <laughs> you know world. what I'm thinking now? Free fly. That you've noticed in the past and you've not ever really said oh, nothing. I would you're, never. Just like, you're just like, man, he's really pitting. Like, why, yeah. would, he, why would he think why we're great just today? It's just me and Charles here. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Like, why, why is he still upset? Yeah. And, yeah. Then, and then now you're thinking, I'm glad he read this ad read, so now I can tell him. Yeah. Uh, it took us this long to get here. It's been seven months. Yeah. You know, I wanted to say something before it, but I just couldn't. Seven months ago? Yeah. It was tough. It was tough to get around. Just me and Charlie here. What was it? Were you at my house? Yeah, it was November. Okay. You doing the math in your head? Yeah. yeah. Seven months. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here's the video. Oh yeah, yeah. This is the uh, poor Zach Wilson. Save me, Tom Cruise. He goes, oh, oh fuck. He said, oh yeah, my, yeah. Let's. Uh... He looks like a TikToker. <laughs> he looks like he wants to be. <laughs> he does, man. Like a. Just a and I, I want, like I said, I, I came at Trey Lance. I'm, jo I was joking, Trey, but I'm also joking, Zach. I would love to have you yeah. on here. We can't help, like, we like to have a good time. And if you're upset by this, well, then maybe we don't want to have you on here, right? Like, if you're gonna be upset like, about that kind of thing, if you have a sense of humor and can laugh at that as well, yeah. we'd love to have you on the bus. Uh, well, based on if I were to just judge somebody off a of video, maybe he had a smelling salt, or maybe he had a taste of wasabi in his mouth, or something like that. Yeah, maybe that's why he made that face. Yeah, but I don't know. After that, I maybe we like give he, him a chance to explain himself. I'd love for him to come on. Yeah, maybe a quick just come on and just explain that and leave. <laughs> if that <laughs> makes him Nashville. more comfortable. Yeah. Come to Nashville, get off the flight, yeah. come right here. See, the thing was, I actually ate some wasabi, and then he like, gets back on the plane. <laughs> yeah. And he's just some wasabi, here, he's dude. cleaning it out. I had some shrimp cocktail at St. Elmo's. Yeah. <laughs> actually, St. Elmo's, that shrimp cocktail does hit crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um, San Fran, Trey, Lance, Bloss, your yeah. take. You're saying 13 and four. The Niners are going to go 13 and four this year. Is Jimmy Garoppolo the quarterback, or is Trey Lance the quarterback? Jimmy Garoppolo is the quarterback. And Until by the when? Until when? Until the trade deadline. Oh, you're saying Jimmy Garoppolo's going to get traded. I can see it happening. Do I want it to happen? No, because 
we've proven that we could win with Jimmy Garoppolo. He's taken us to a Super Bowl. I think he could do it again if he stays healthy. Our team's ready to win. Um, and it'd be a perfect opportunity. Boy, sounds like he's on the podium for Trey, yeah. 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 <laughs> for Trey Lance to just learn under Jimmy the same way Patrick Mahomes did against Alex Smith. With Alex Ooh, Smith. With Alex, with Alex Smith. Smith. Yes. Or Jimmy Garoppolo did with Tom, Tom Brady. That's a nice Correct. little comparison. Yeah, yeah those all play. But I, I'm not upset with that. I think the 49ers have one of the coolest uniforms in the league, too, by the way. That's how I judge most teams. Yeah, they cool. do. Their very, uniforms uh, fucking are sick, dude. Yeah. The red with the gold. And it's a nice red, too. It's a you cool know what I mean? red. It's like a darker red. You know what's cool? Being in that stadium and seeing five time Super Bowl champions. All right, like, relax. No cable. <laughs> like, we're, we're talking about other shit now. Like. You know what's cool about that? <laughs> yeah, seeing the five banners go across that says Super Bowl champions. It gives me chills every single time I see them. <laughs> Gives me chills. <laughs> like, uh, all right. Boss. Like, okay, be a Patriots fan. Seeing the six man. <laughs> <Yeah, yeah, yeah. laughs> well, that's what, I was, that's what I was referencing towards. Because let me tell you something. You haven't lived until you've been in that stadium, <laughs> Levi Stadium, and you've seen those five banners. When you see that Unless Joe Montana the jersey stadium and seen one extra. Yeah. <laughs> and he fucking, we asked him a question and we were about to move on. And he just, <laughs> Say what? This, is, this is too fucking good. For, I got to let them know the feeling I get when I fucking. <laughs> Walk in that place, dude. <laughs> oh. But the red is better. It's better than like uh like the like the Atlanta Falcons kind of red. Oh, you don't like it's like a, like a brighter red? red. You better you better tread lightly. I Fal- mean, Falcons yeah. didn't draft a linebacker. That's true. That yeah. is true. So we love the Falcon red. We baby. do love the Falcons. We love how the shirt decides to go from black to red. We love. We love think it's a good, like, that. That's love amazing. That. Why would they? Who else didn't think that? That is a you great. That's saying? a great uniform. Speaking of the uh, Atlanta Falcons, they did a great. uh The Kyle Pitts. I feel, first off, I feel bad for Kyle Pitts. And Why is that? Because the guy there before the draft, literally, if I never watched football in my life and I heard about what they were saying about Kyle Pitts, yeah. if he's not a Hall of Famer after this year, he's a boss. Oh, you, yeah, I see, Dude, what, you're I see so what you're saying. I see what you're saying. The expectation the that they're putting right? on him, yeah. They're like, I've not seen a wide receiver or a tight end grade this good in the last 40 years. That is tough, man. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Everybody was pretty much saying, oh, they got Kyle Pitts. They can do away with Julio Jones yeah, now. Yeah, which if you're, hey, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Yeah. I, love, I love to have Julio here. Julio and Nashville will be r- rock em, sock em robots, dude. I would love it. Could you I imagine? I absolutely love it. Hey, the, Who, the feeling I would get walking to the stadium and seeing A.J. Brown and Julio would be equivalent to Bloss seeing those five <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Hands, <laughs> that, that to me... That would how I probably could imagine how it feels. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I'm lighting up and it's if we get Julio, I don't even have to pass that. Ball's out too damn fast. Everyone's you're gonna over. you're gonna just start passing and watch him run around. Oh, hey, he's doing great. Hey, good luck, buddy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man, that would be fucking sick. Talk about putting all your pressure on somebody. Cincinnati Bengals draft uh, Joe Burrow one overall. They think to themselves, guy got sacked 56 times. Let's get himself some help. And then help came in the wide in the form of a wide receiver, yeah. which I'm not upset about. I, apparently, he wanted. He went out and said, "I want Jamar Chase." I mean, that was his teammate the year before. That was his teammate the year before. And sometimes the best way to help your pass pro is have wide receivers that can get open. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you have good wide receivers, guys that get open real fast, sometimes it takes a little pressure. And off how off fun is that too? Like anytime you're like going through the draft process, like there's a party that hopes you're on the same team as your boys that you're going through the process. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the guys the next year that's like, oh, hey, how's the how's the league? Like, what's it like? Blah, blah, blah. Like, there's a party that's like, man, I hope they come to the team. Right, right. But that's pretty dope that they get to draft somebody that he wanted to be on the Bengals. Like, throw into a same receiver. Well, same with uh, Trevor could, Lawrence and that kid, their running back. The running you, back for Clemson also got drafted to the Jacksonville Jaguars in the first round. It's like a theme. What do you mean? Like a theme. What, buddy I system? saw a headline buddy! saying, I said, no, like a, like a theme across the draft, like especially in the first round, like quarterbacks getting paired up with like an old receiver. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. I think they pointed that out. But did the Jamar kid, did he play in senior year? No, he opted out. Isn't that nuts, dude? Like, so somebody actually texted me about that. And going top five. Good for him. Like, dude, dude honestly, I got a text from one of my buddies. Uh, you know, he won't mind if I say his name. Chris Arnold. Chris Arnold texted me and said something about like, why would you, a guy opt out of 2020? Blah, 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 blah. And, and I, at first I was like, okay, yeah, I get it. You want to be with the boys. You want to play ball. Yeah. But if you're going to be a first round draft pick, this is where I always say I would have left early. If I had had to yeah. do it again, I would have left as shit. I would have tried to leave as a registered sophomore. But these guys, these you take a year off your body. You get to train, get healthy, and you're still a top five pick. 
That's insane. Good bro. for Jamar Chase. Yeah. Being that much of a stud to be able to do that, right? I know. I think the linebacker from uh, Penn State, he also did the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that Micah Parsons? Micah Parsons. Stud, uh, who's the, the. Dallas, by the way, got two backers high. <sighs> Micah Parsons and uh, was it Jabril Cox from LSU? He's an LSU player. Really? But they got two picks high and they got Jalen Smith and then uh, Leighton uh, uh, LVE. Leighton Vander Ask. Oh, oh, you're Leighton talking Vander about the Cowboys. Esch. Yeah. The Cowboys drafted another linebacker? Two, yeah, two in the top three rounds. I think Jabril Cox went the third, they fell to the third line. round. Or maybe fourth which is, I don't know, which But is either wild. way. Um, there's a lot of linebackers that went in the, in the first round. You were saying. Dude, I know. You were when saying those a lot three of guys went off. like two guys had like top first round grades or whatever. Yeah, like there was, there was like right, a couple. Like we don't really know. There was like a couple in there, and it really was only Micah for the most part, but mm. in those. Uh, those mock drafts and stuff to where it wasn't as inside backer heavy as it was actually on draft night the other night. That kid from Tulsa looks like an absolute house. Dude, right? How big is he? He's like six. He's 260 or 250. He's he's a white Dante Hightower. Yeah. Zayvon Collins. Zayvon Collins. Did you did you hear the phone call of him? I, I believe it was him. Who did he get drafted by? I think he might be mixed too. Uh, Cardinal. <laughs> Just call him white. <laughs> hey, white Dante Hightower. Light skinned Dante Hightower. How's yeah. that sound? Yeah. I'm sorry for upsetting you so you much know, right there. You didn't yeah, the Cardinals. Me. Oh, yeah. So he calls the Cardinals. He's on the phone with the GM, and he's like, <laughs> he says some intense shit. Like we're gonna get such. We're gonna. Get, uh, oh, we're, we're gonna, gonna kill he's, everybody. We're gonna kill everybody. We're killing everyone. <laughs> Like, we're going to get a brain so fucking big, it's going to fit in your fucking finger. And I'm sure the GM's, like, on the phone with him, like, thank God I picked this guy. Steve, we're going to kill everyone. <laughs> we're going to kill everyone. <laughs> like, what's the, what's the replacements? He's like, kill kill the quarterback. Kill the running back. Yeah. Kill everybody. Like, that's that fucking kid. Yeah, and uh, PFT tweets out, like, imagine getting to say this, like, to your boss at your job. We're yeah. going to kill everybody. We're going to kill everyone and not get fired immediately yeah. and have yeah. to go to a psychiatric ward. <laughs> yeah. Good for that kid. He's a house, dude. 6'5", 260, bro. 6'5", 260. Um, Chris Arnold also had another nugget during the draft. He Chris told, Arnold is our draft expert, by the way. He's our draft expert. He actually was really good. He's solid. Um, he's into it. But he did make one mistake. He told Will he should get up to 250, and I just can't imagine. He <laughs> Maybe that at body at 250. I like, yeah, my arms that, get a little, like, they stick out they a little do more. They're not going to get longer. Out. Yeah. You got that pear body, dude. Yeah. You kind of just fucking put it out to the side. Well, I'm 250. <laughs> yeah. Run stopper, dude. Yeah. Fucking, you're going to plug up a gap, Thumper. Dude. Thumper. First down only. <laughs> Backed up or goal line situations. Only five million a year, dude. It's all yours, Atlanta yeah. Falcons. Take it. Oh, nope. that was a fast twelve minutes. Barstool Sports in sixty seconds. A brand new season unlocked the promise of adventure ahead. An endless stoke. It says stoke. Yeah. On the horizon. Now on sale. Own it all with Keon Pass. No, 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 no. Hey, hey. Icon Pass. This, uh, this episode is brought to you by Icon Pass. This okay. episode is brought to you by Icon Pass. It's not Keon Pass. It, no, it's, not, it's Icon. It's Icon. I thought no. you don't. You say Icon. Okay, Icon. Icon Pass, Icon Pass. Own the season, own the stories, own the stoke. With pass options starting at only three ninety nine, dollars adult uh, and exclusive spring savings, there's an adventure for every type of rider, both new to the mountain and longtime shredder. La, 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 la. Lock in the 21-22 season with up to $200 savings on child passes, up to $100 in renewal discounts. Time to renew. Make sure you do that next year. Get that Explain discount. the renewal. Uh, well, it sounds like if you buy the pass and then you go to renew the pass, it costs you less than originally buying the pass. Up well, to $100. Up to $100. So if you were doing $399, smack that baby down, you're now at $299. Uh, unlock access to more than 40 unique Icon Pass destinations from the second you score your pass and stake your claim to the 21-22 season. You've got an entire season of sweet stuff to look forward to. Explore pass options at Icon Pass. Dot com. That I'll tell you awesome. what, that besides, was the, that was really good. besides Econ Pass. Yeah, besides the beginning. Yeah, the beginning what'd you stuff. say? I Econ? get nervous. We're, ha we're having a good time. We're talking. I keep yeah. looking over at Jack and smiling. But then I then you go into it, and I, I, my heart starts pattering a little bit. The back bit. half, you got a little more serious with I, your voice. Yeah, yeah well, like, you start to do this a little bit. You feel like you're on the radio now. It feels pretty good to do that. Uh, it looks like a Roman's the next one on our list. Looks like we got a little sneak preview. That's a lot of words. <laughs> See you in 12 minutes. <laughs> See you in 12 minutes, Roman. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that would be a little better than I thought it would. Yeah. But it, <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, dude. That was killer. That was a killer little fucking Thanks, giggle box, dude. 
Um, but then the, we before we go to the next thing, Alex is trying to move us along, which he which he should because we've been lingering quite a bit. Uh, the Titans. We're like going through the draft one by one. Yeah, one by one. <laughs> and at the 210th pick, they chose. He's 6'5", 260. Oh my God. Well, imagine if you gained that much weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, anyway, the Titans took, uh, what, Caleb Farley? That's his name, Caleb Farley. Don't wait, look at me like no I have a dick on my head. Okay, he's like, he's just mouth open, dude, breathing on me. Like, what are you talking so, here? He said, Caleb Farley. Exhaling, it, brought, dude. it brought me. <laughs> <laughs> that brought me back memories of uh, Chris Farley. So yeah, I just, well, thought, I was I just started have... thinking in my head about Chris Farley. Just fucking moments. playing back black sheep in your head, dude, the whole time. Uh, Chris, uh, Caleb Farley, apparently the kids had back problems. I don't know anything about his issues, and I don't will not speak on him because Rabel would get really mad if I did that. But the the experts say with when he's healthy, these are his words, when he's healthy, he's the best corner on film. Uh, being 6'3", 205, having the ability to move at that size... Sounds pretty awesome to me. You could easily go. You could do the NFL Network stuff, bro. I could take Rich Eisen job tomorrow. That's a nice segue into ah, oh shout out. I see what you're doing. I see you doing. Ah. <laughs> shout What's out segue? Rich Eisen. Shout out Rich Eisen for uh I mean, I guess we're shouting him out, but disrespecting us again, right? Let's let, we listen to what he said real quick. Yeah. Let's play it. Uh Dylan Rad. And just a heads up to Dylan Radin when when Taylor Lewan says to come on Bussin' with the Boys podcast, there's no engine in the bus. It's a bus without an engine. It's a bus with a podcast. There's no engine. Get an engine. And just a heads up to Dylan Raiden. Just dies on the hill for the engine thing, huh? Like you think he when he brings up. He said that to me since the beginning. We got we got on this bus. Yeah. And the and the fact that he elevates his voice. And for Dylan Rad News, uh, when Taylor Lewan calls you about coming on the bus, there's no bus on the engine. Right, no it's like on the bus. The way there's no engine as they're segueing into right. the next pick. Like you think he's setting it up to say when Taylor Lewan tells you to get on the bus, you go get on the bus. Yeah, get on the bus. Like just do us a solid, Rich. I get you don't want to say my name. It's Taylor Lewan's podcast. It's yeah. his bus. I get Rich it. Rich does. Rich but and when, I have well, actually discussed that, and we've promised each other. Yeah. That we're only gonna but when you line. say like when Taylor Lewan tells you get on the bus, just finish the alley oop, dude, and say just get on the bus. Dude, let me yam that thing like the heat in the yeah. finals with LeBron James, dude. You be like Dwayne Wade fucking putting your arms like that. And let me just fucking crank that thing back. Right. Three o'clock and put that piece in the nugget, dude. Put now, you know, we got to have we, we got to have that graphic when we put that put on the that YouTube. piece in the nugget. I finished the fucking comment, Lawan. But uh, Rich Eisen, uh, famously known for the Rich Eisen show. Uh, it's hilarious. To look back on the videos from like the uh, late 90s and him with a full head of hair. He looks better bald. Rich Eisen looks better bald. What are you reading? Uh, the dude said, Dylan, he said, let's do this. For the boys. Hashtag for the boys. Yeah, well, already so he responded. He's like ready that. to go. Well, he's trying to get on. Oh, no <laughs> question. He's already cloud chasing. What are you going to say? He's cloud chasing. Well, listen, the kid just got drafted. He played at North Dakota State University. Kid, I love it. Kids never seen more than 5,000 people at one time. You know what I'm saying? North Dakota State University. Kids great. Texted him. Talked to Joe Staley, actually. He trained with Joe Staley. Watched his uh, post-draft interview, and he was very complimentive of my, my game. And Bustin' with the boys. He mentioned us two or three times. So um, he will definitely be on this bus. You know, he's future. trying not to let him get on the bus. That's the oh, boy. and John Robinson, J. Rob. Let's let's take a li listen to this. We talked about uh, Tough Luan angles. and 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 watching his game. You know, we may have to talk about staying off that bus that he's on, but we'll we'll get to that when we'll get to, we'll get. Oh, pause it, pause we'll it, pause it. Go back, dude. He goes. He's talking about when he peeked over. <laughs> he peeks over and he's got it in his head the thing he's going to say, but then he fucking says the same thing three times. Yeah. He goes, We got Lawan on the bus, but we'll have to talk about, we'll have to talk, we'll have to talk about, <laughs> hit it again, dude. You know, we may have to talk about staying off that bus that he's on, but we'll, we'll get to that when we'll get, to, we'll get. Hey, I think, hey, hey, I think it. Hey, he fucking looked. Like I'm getting him right now, dude. I think he's, he's, looking thought, at the, he's looking at the camera going, fuck yeah, this is viral. And then he could just couldn't finish it, dude. He's he literally is looking at me. And I the think funny he thought thing to is, himself on this monitor, he actually is looking at me on the monitor. <laughs> Fucking hilarious. I think he thought to himself when he said it, it started to immediately chemical started to go to his brain. Like, I'm on camera and I'm mic'd up. Taylor's gonna see this. Uh, That's when the glance happens. Yeah, he starts stumbling a little bit. John wants to be on the podcast so bad. Tell um tell a story about the when we first started the podcast and you saw John at like five points pizza or whatever, 
And you're like, yeah, you, I listened to the podcast. You're literally leaving me at the joint. I know. Right I'm so sorry. Because I can see it. We were at a, uh, at a coffee um, shop and he walks up to you and he goes, no, it's taco. It's a taco. Listen, listen taco Taqueria del Sol. And you, and you said, oh, what'd you think? And then he said, now finish the story. I can't remember. And then he said, well, it wasn't for me. Put it on for about 20 minutes and left. And that's, that's right. The end of the story. Yes. Now we can just move on. Yeah. Fuck me, dude. It's all right. You that can explain the story. No, I'm just embarrassed. At the end of the day, like I forgot I'm a forgetful cat. I go in there. You tell me a fun story. I laugh at it. I say, I can't wait to tell him a podcast two and a half years John later. Last year, podcast, hey, John last year, um, when I was getting signed and we were talking about signing bonus, roster bonus, that type of stuff, John says, uh, when trying to decline it, says he'll make that money on bus with his bu- with busting with the boys. So John knows how successful we are. So he, he gives us some respect, even though he doesn't necessarily want to. Because be, I think because, he gives the respect. Because because oh, I'm John now. Because 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 yeah. Because uh, we're a little nervous, we're, right? Yeah, I know. Sure. Like, yeah, you know it's gonna it's gonna float around the office. This, yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> I'm still a free agent. Do you think? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I'm still a free agent. <laughs> come pick us. Come get us. <laughs> oh, dude, that's fucking <laughs> funny. Um, when John brought up your money, taking less money for the pod uh, because you're gonna get that in the podcast, did you think maybe I should do that? No, but it's you separate. Want, but you want me to give up a million dollars for you? Yeah, I mean that's like a but funny little joke. But you want, <laughs> hey, but you want me to give up a million dollars for if you? If you remember, I walked right into that, dude. If you remember, walked your ass right into that. That was Stupid a night. motherfucker. That was a like, night. That was- <laughs> get mad and sick. Keep being worse. Dumbass idiot. You fucking bit. <laughs> it got quiet. Because <laughs> you're just going in. I'm like, just going in. Just sitting there. Hello, eating dog, it, smile, Dad, you just hit mommy yes, at the dinner table. We're all trying to enjoy our meal yeah. type of shit. But yeah, I mean, that was a nice hypothetical question. The way it started was like, would you take a pay cut to come back on the Titans? And I'm like, I make minimum. Yeah. So then that's why I put the ball in your court. We don't have to go back through it. I yeah. get it. You wouldn't do it. It's all good. So would you sign with the Titans again for minimum? Oh, I don't know. I have an agent for that. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because when somebody asked about that one time on the bus, <laughs> it just started. Yeah, it's fucking it. crazy, <laughs> man. <That's> fucking <laughs> don't, don't look for them for fucking help right Because uh, Taylor ended up speaking for me at one Pointing time. Pointing me again, like, dude. You know, I swear to fucking God, dude. Because that guy always... <laughs> <laughs> Fuck got bit by the mic, dude. <laughs> My tooth. <laughs> oh god damn. I'm sweating more. I'm oh. sweating so bad. Yeah, I know I, I look hope over you're at- enjoying this. I hope you're fucking looking at us and enjoying your night, day, whatever's going on, because we're sweating our dicks off right now. So the least you could do is go to the merch store, fucking buy some shit, and say thanks for sweating for me, guys. This is literally sweat equity we're well, putting hey, in right now. Let's tone it down. I, I get it. I'm you're fired up. You're, it's gonna make you sweat more. I am. Yeah. It's kind of like one of those things you just buy in at this point. Just with fucking the, let the heart rate race. With those shades, it looks like you're like consuming the the product you sell. You know what I mean? Like you're sweating. Uh huh. You get that, Jim? Nope. Didn't get it at all. Like you wear those, the cocaine drugs, like the dealer drugs. Oh, yeah. I do drugs. I do cocaine. <laughs> I get the sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah, yeah, I do plenty of it. I do drugs. I do cocaine. That'd be a nice uh, nice thing. What else? John Robinson. Um, Let's go to Listen, Aaron Rodgers. Let's go. Let's do nice the Aaron Rodgers. Nice let's save. do the Aaron Rodgers. That last one you had on there? <laughs> yeah. I, we do it not, would be over if we did that shit. That. Yeah, let's not touch that. Um... Yo, so Aaron Rodgers, do we actually think he wants out? I mean, he's playing it well. If he doesn't, or if he does, I think either way, he's. What's it, how's he playing well? What's he done? Just Nothing. staying quiet. MVP. You got the cards, and you just watched what Brady did. Had what looked like a. Good you think he should go to? You think he should go to Tampa Bay? I think he can do. No, I think he can do whatever he wants, and it sounds like he's acting like it. I also think it's not as serious as everybody's making it out to be either. Like, I think he understands all the like leverage he has. Like, I think he enjoys the jeopardy. Like he has interest elsewhere too. And, in, and in not just football. Yeah. I think he's like, understands all of his, you know, what he can do. He crushed jeopardy. He did a great job. Yeah. He did a really good job doing jeopardy. I just want to know if it's true that, um, he Where's actually he wants out. You know, I said, I think it was like somebody had tweeted. It might've been, what was it? Trey Wingo it says within the last week, he says, uh, that he wasn't going to play. He wasn't going to be a Green Bay Packer, basically. Trade me or not, I'm not going to be a Green Bay Packer. Oh, damn. I think. I think that's what well, he's Well, he's made a shitload of money, and he's got like a lot of avenues he can go into, for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. The guy's got the whole world in his hand right now, for sure. Where where does he go? It looks like Bloss has something. Bloss has got something, for sure. Um, did the Niners sell the house at him? Was that true? Yeah, they did. That was true. Uh, How do you know? What, what's John, your source? John Lynch did a press conference. What's your source? 
John Lynch, John Lynch press, press conference. Oh shit! Okay, <laughs> backfired. He did a press conference. I, 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 was he said, I thought it was some slappy that just tweeted yeah. it or something. He said, "Anytime the league MVP becomes available, you take a look at it and you see if you can get him." Nice move. Would they offer the third overall pick? Something else? Third and, overall uh, pick, and then um, Jimmy Garoppolo, and then some other and, and some other guys on the roster. Some, he handled it better than when uh, Shanahan was asked if uh, Jimmy's going to be on the roster come <laughs> Sunday, and he goes, "I can't, you know, predict who's going to be on this earth on Sunday." And it's like, right. "Holy shit!" Hey, <laughs> like, do you know something we don't? <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> Imagine that, um, Aaron Rodgers may have been doing it just because of like the draft pre when they drafted uh, Jordan Love, so this is like his payback to them. Putting them in a hard spot. It would have been it would have been crazy too because when he got drafted, he's like, "I'm gonna make the 49ers regret not picking me." And then 49ers are throwing the entire house to get him. Like, all right, hey man, we fucked up, we get it. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, big time. What do you? What did they try to give up? Did they say they said a, the for obviously yeah, Garoppolo, like third overall pick, Garoppolo, and then picks after that. They didn't specify what other picks after. Man, that. why? Why do you think the Packers didn't take that? They probably, have they, no they probably clue, think they can man. still salvage. Salvage the thing when they have with uh, Rodgers. Yeah, I I have no clue what's going on in Green Bay. It sounds because it sounds like Green Bay's like flown all the you know Lafleur, Goody, like all the different executives that go out and like meet with them and try and rekindle whatever it is. I I don't even know what's like going on. You know what I mean? Like what's pissed them off so much? Yeah. Outside then, of like not. I mean, okay, tread lightly on what's pissed them off so much. Obviously, he's wanted them to get go after a, a receiver before yeah. or in years past and then also not like go behind him and draft a, a first round QB. And that's wild. You know huh? what I mean? So I have no clue what that life is like being that, you know what I mean? Being that you're that to. much of a face of the franchise yeah. where you, you should be able to make call the shots and stuff like that. Yeah. To where you're that mad about it. Yeah. The, um, it's a good spot to be in. It's a spot. I think everybody wishes they were in. Yeah. Like he's tall. Like, but where, like, where would he go though? I don't know. He'd go anywhere. He literally can go anywhere he wanted. Couldn't he? So it's still going on. Yeah, oh yeah, 100%. Yeah. yeah. They're trying to shut it down, but he's playing a Broncos would be a great spot for him because the Packers don't like it's not an NFC team. And if the only way they would see him was in the Super Bowl. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Good point. Yeah. Shit, we don't know, but we just talk about it anyway. Hey, right? Yeah, I know. We the have n- no the idea Niners, too, on. like, you look at the Super Bowl, it's not that they're missing a QB, but if you had Aaron Rodgers, you're, you're winning the Super Bowl. No disrespect at all to Jimmy G. I think he's a stud. Is Aaron Rodgers the best quarterback in the league? Him or Pat, Pat Mahomes? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you can't disrespect Brady at all. He just yeah, won a Super Bowl. <laughs> it's like until he actually plays long hey, enough hey, to hey, die. Don't sleep on Tannehill. True, but I'm just don't saying sleep like on Tannehill. If, if Tom didn't win the Super Bowl this past year, then it could say, yeah, uh, Mahomes or Rodgers. Mm-hmm. But since Tom is like literally still winning, like you can't just like. Isn't that wild? I know, dude. Fuck, well, that's a bit of a deal. What do we have next? I saw DM Deep Dives. Yeah. Do we have stuff? Are we able to do the video stuff? Yeah, we need videos. Oh, oh, oh. Looks like we have fucking another one. Here we go, boys. This episode is brought to you by Also Roman. brought to you by. Look, no one's perfect. Even the best ba- baseball players strike out with the bases loaded. The best golfers sometimes three putt with the tournament on the line. Even the boys were a couple two pump chumps sometimes. Well, so if you feel like you've come up a little short in the bedroom, it's perfectly okay. But if it's bothering you that much, Taylor, yeah. there are options. <laughs> Go to GetRoman.com slash Bussin now. With Roman, you can get a free online evaluation and ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your own home. A U.S. licensed healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan possible. God. If medication is appropriate, it ships to you free with two-day shipping. The whole process is straightforward and discreet. Getting started discreet? is simple, very discreet. Like that. You don't even know what's happening. Like that. A when lot. they send the little wipes, it comes in a it comes in like a black box, no labels, no nothing. So even the UPS guy can't. Even the UPS guy doesn't know what's going on. So if uh, your in-laws or anybody's in town or your parents, yeah. they have no clue what's uh-huh. being delivered to your door. Love that. Um, just go to getroman.com slash bussin and take and complete an online visit. Mm-hmm. Take care of your ED without leaving home. Complete an online visit today and connect with a doctor and take care of it. Go to GetRoman.com slash Bussin now to get $15 off your first order of ED treatment. There's no straightforward way to take care of your ED. Just go to GetRoman.com slash Bussin. Get started now and save $15 on your first order. Hmm. I, a matter of fact, I think Jack took that up, took that ad up. Yeah, he did. Didn't you? Oh, yeah. When, it's, we, first, when we first started it, dating the girl, he said that I... Yeah. He was it simple? Me. Super simple. What did he call and tell he you? He called me. He's like, I got an issue. I go, what's going cool? Hey, come talk to Papa. What you need? 
He's like, well, Come you know, Papa. I just bagged this this hottie, but here's the issue. I go, oh, what's the problem? What's what could be wrong now? He goes, well, I just I just can't get it up. I go, oh, okay. Well, hey, just call Roman. They're one of our sponsors. I'm sure we can get you in with them. We get him in. Ends up working out. Um, and it, it seems like everything's going fine now. Was the uh, visit? Was it pretty seamless? Was it pretty easy? Super easy consultation. Yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you for being vulnerable enough to admit that That's you good. have went to getroman.com slash bussin. Yep. Yeah. Um, one, I have a question about ED. Maybe you know the answer, Jack. Um, <laughs> does it matter the penis size, right? Because there's blood flow. So do smaller penises, do people with smaller penises don't get ED? And then people. With, I know it's a genuine hoses, question, but I don't know. With hoses, like if you have a hose, that's a lot of blood flow. Or does, or do you think blood just starts going and only a little bit gets going? And it's the like other, half mass. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah, a wacky yeah, inflatable yeah, yeah. tube guy. Yeah, that's kind of like just half of it, and the rest of it's kind of like. Mm, yeah. Mm, mm. I don't know. My penis is not big enough to know the answer to this question. Has anybody had it besides Jack? Bloss. No. Well, Jack. Guess everyone here's too cool for that. You know? <laughs> yeah. well, good for you, Jack. What do we have? Uh, who's this kid? What do we got going on? DMD dies. Oh, we have to listen to this? Yeah. For the cans on. Oh, this is our first video. So this is our bus and mailbag. This is our first this is the Is this the porn star? No, she didn't submit. <laughs> oh. Sadly. Disrespectful. Still open though if you what's want. Her, what's her name again? Michelle. Michelle Ryan. Michelle Ryan. Hey, Alex knows all about this. Yeah. Michelle. Michelle Ryan. <laughs> all right, Josh Hall. Here's not Michelle Shout Ryan. out Josh Hall. G'day, geezers. Love the podcast. <laughs> That's not a real accent, is it? Yeah, it is. No, you're lying. No, good, good day, geezers. Love the podcast. Do it again. G'day, geezers. Good day, geezers. Love the podcast. It's your boy Josh from Melbourne, Australia. Got a quick question Let's for you, Let's fucking go. Hey, hey, pause it, pause we're it. We're international. Sorry, we're not going to get through our first video because Taylor and I got to make a comment every step of the way. Good day, geezers. That's fucking awesome. Oh, yeah. That's fucking great. I thought he was faking it. 10 out of 10 right there, dude. I thought I, this kid's from Missouri. It's, it's from <laughs> yeah, Eastern just in it. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, I'm going to get these idiots. Yeah. And you know what? Guys, he, if he's not from Australia. He's got us. I fully believe him. Australia. Go ahead. Got Start it over, friend. though. Good day, geezers. G'day, geezers. Love the podcast. It's your boy Josh from Melbourne, Australia. Got a quick question for you, fellas. Do you think that there's ever going to be a day where preseason games are played in Australia? Thanks, fellas. Can't wait to see you here. Uh, there was a part of me, too, that thought he was a little bit going along with his accent, but that is it. I want to know what geezers means. Yeah, what does geezer mean? I think it means old people. Yeah, old well, that's what the geezers means, but what does it mean in Australia? Yeah, like, I'm you thinking, know? like, that's his way of saying, like, the boys. Yeah. <laughs> geezers. Geezers. Yeah, same thing. Old people. Yeah. Okay, well, Josh, fucking disrespectful, <laughs> right. buddy. I do turn 30 this year, so I get it. <laughs> Um, do we think that the NFL will ever play preseason games in Australia? I think <clears throat> it's totally feasible. The idea of not just preseason games, but also regular season games. I don't, I'm, I'm not a commissioner, Yeah. but if we've gotten into London, let's say this whole COVID thing goes out the window and we go back to the 2019 vibe. I'm sure the idea is for the NFL to get as far around globally as much as possible. So you would think the answer would probably be yes. I don't know when. Right. Probably be after we're done playing. Yeah, I think no matter what, no for preseason games. Like, who's going to go to Australia for a preseason yeah, game? Yeah, you know that's what I mean? true. That's a lot of travel. I guess How far, has I, anybody I been to Australia? Group? No, that's what I was just going to ask, though. The travel's got to be a whole day. Like, yeah. Legitimately, it's got to be a 20 something hour hours, right? Yeah. yeah. Has anybody been to Australia back there? Nobody? Damn, we're, we, we, hey, we suck, boys. Hey, sorry, Josh. Good night, gazes. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I, I mean, maybe in the future with like a regular season game. I don't know. I don't know because it's a I didn't, long. I didn't think about it's the flight. It's a long travel, bro. It's, like think about London, and that's what that's just a seven eight hour flight to Australia from Nashville. Is looks like anywhere between twenty three and twenty five hours of travel. Holy yeah. shit! Of Josh, driving? I to you burst say, your did you say driving? What? Did you just say driving? No. Because I was going to say travel. I probably can't do that. No, no, no. I thought you said. Hey, driving. you were ready to get his ass, uh, dude. <laughs> my antenna fucking just went up, dude. My alfalfa. You know, thing just Elon went up. Musk is making a, them underground tunnels to there, though. Yeah. You know that's happening. That'd be cool. Elon but, Musk would be another one to have on the podcast. But yeah, I do not think, uh, Josh, I hate to say it, buddy, I don't think NFL will ever be in Australia, but we're fired up you listen to the boys. Yeah, Let's give Josh up. a round of applause. Hey, shout out to Josh. Look at Australia, I also, bro. I also take back my answer. I also take back my answer. I agree with Will. I didn't know about the, how long it took to drive there. That's ridiculous. All right. <laughs> Jacob Grote. What up, boys? I'm Jacob. Let's I was just wondering. 
<laughs> this guy's oh, fucking he said mustache. Pause it. He is at the masturbation angle too. Like if you're gonna take a video, yeah, you fucking put it up here. Not when you're fucking. You know, you're cranking. You never you're want your chin phone, and neck to lead. This is like, no, he's looking at the phone. He's in the crank position, dude. It's like reverse resting that, POV. Resting that yeah. shit on his chest and fucking getting after that thing. What's up, boys? And then he's got the filthiest mustache. All in all, 4.5. I think the guy looks great. He does. I'm a fan of it. I'm with that. I like that. I like that rating. What up, boys? I'm Jacob. I was just wondering. So in the Jelly Roll episode, he mentioned Mike Stud. He did some of Mike Stud on the King of Sting album. I was just wondering... If y'all ever go work anything without work anything out with him to get him on the bus, maybe talk about the mental side of things. He's all about working on himself and meditation and all that stuff. And I know Will and Taylor, y'all are both super into that. And I was just wondering if y'all ever get him on, maybe he can deep dive into some things. Or maybe this video, if he's one of the boys, maybe he'll get something that works. Love you, boys. How do you feel now? I the same thing. I think he looks great. I just think the angle's tough. Yeah, I just thought that was uh, I just thought that was a that was a well done message. No, it was a really well yeah, done yeah, message. Yeah. And Mike Stud, just Mike, uh, as he goes by now, Mike DM'd me on Instagram. We have been texting. He he says he'll come on the podcast. He wants to. I know he started a podcast with Johnny Manziel. Sounds like the thing's going really well too. There, what's it called? Ball don't lie. Yeah, ball don't lie. It sounds like a, an epic podcast. Yeah. And watching Johnny being the same draft class as Johnny, it's super interesting to me. Seeing his thought process of how the whole thing went. I need to listen to some more episodes. Cause, yeah, he's um, big on uh, like awareness and all that type of stuff. Yeah. I'd love to talk to him. He was out too. in Montana for how long? For a while. He was supposed to come to Nashville in March, and, and then, then it was up, April. And then because he would text us and say, like, yeah. He says he's moving to Nashville uh, March 1st. Right. And then it switched to, I think, Florida. Yeah. But he kind of like. He, just, no, he's, in, he's in Arizona right now. Is he? Yeah. I thought he was in I Miami. I thought he was in point. Arizona based on the, the deals. But, but yes. I know he's wanting to come on. Like, we have talked to him. Yep. We, we spoke just, to him. I just don't know when he's coming to Nashville. So, Mike, you need to hurry up, buy your house, whatever it is, and come get your ass in Nashville. Hey, bro. funny story about Mike. When I first started, uh, texted him, I sent him a. I was I was in a I was a banged up. I was in a car accident, and uh, I sent him a selfie, kind of like the same angle as Buddy over here yeah. with the the masturbation angle. And I was like, send me a picture right now. Sends me a picture right back. I have him in the tub. He was taking a soak. Confident man. Confident man. Just sending a soak photo back you I know. know what I mean showing a little leg with them calm ass was eyes. he showing a little leg no there were no legs showing. it was like belly button up oh so he's doing like it was like a selfie yeah gotcha interesting little deal little tidbit there for your boss take that home with you and shout out chug buds I know you know yep could be something in the works with some chug buds yeah chug buds is pretty dope yeah all right what's next Connor pause up, it boys? the angle again <laughs> That's better than the last angle. Than the last the higher, guys, the higher you go with the angle, the better you're going to look. Yeah. It's but just how it works. The man. lower you get, the more I'm thinking well, I'm about to start watching a porn soon. Something's that's what you on. think. I don't know. Yeah. Right? I, I, if that's what you, I mean, if that's what you're used to seeing, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> just used to seeing a dude's face and all of a sudden things are happening. Yeah. 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 That's Taylor's cool. thinking back to all of his selfie videos he sent Taylor in the past where he's like, this is like, hey, babe, what's up? And you just. <laughs> It's <laughs> a weird little. And there's a couple right? of them floating out there in the world. <laughs> when it comes out, oh, floating in the world. That reminds me. Hang on, not to cut Connor off, but I just got reminded of a story being in Nebraska over the weekend. Somebody comes up to me. Go ahead. And um, we're at the bar. Bo the boys out in Nebraska are. are hey, we got fandom all out there, bro. Really? Yes, a lot. Love that. So much so that uh, my boy Zoe Whaley, anytime somebody wanted to come up, he's like, "Hey, you got to buy a round." You got to buy a drink if, you know, you want to talk about busting with the boys. Oh, really? Yeah, so this dude comes up. He's like, Will, man, next time you're talk to Taylor, you know, I, I forget his name. But he's like one of my best friends. He's at Michigan. And he had a, him and his dad, they were at the banquet your senior year. And um, it's a teammate of yours, bro. But he's like, ask him about the time that you picked up some young dude's plate at the banquet, spit in his food and gave it back to him. Is that Shut story the fuck true? Up. I don't think so. Is that story true? If it is, I have totally blanked it out of my memory bank. Yeah. That, now, if, that, if that kid came up to me and was like, yeah, you did that, I'd be like, okay, well, I'm I should have wrote down the name. I was like, maybe Chris something. There's no fucking way I did that, especially at the banquet. I don't know, he, he said the scene, like the scene, some senior banquet you guys had at the end of your senior yeah, year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You came in with a couple of the boys. <laughs> you picked up some young dude's you, plate. You know, the, you know the, you raised me up, that story I told? Yeah, yeah, years? yeah. That's the banquet he's talking that, about. I, that's it what was I was four thinking. four years later my senior year. That's what I was thinking. 
And I was like, there could be, there could be truth to that just because I'm thinking the raise me up and you know, you but yeah, I, you think I'd spit in somebody's I, food? Listen, we have, we, we have realized that I didn't know you back then. Hey, I was different. And anytime somebody comes up and has some kind of relationship with you back in the day, yeah. it's stories that I don't even, I'm like, oh, for real? Yeah. Like, nah, that ain't, that ain't my boy. Hey, way different. That ain't there. the boy. Yeah, I might have spit in somebody's plate, but I don't think I'm I did. just thinking to myself, like, what the fuck? Walk up. Hey, that's for. <laughs> You're like, oh, hey, cut that out. Hey, bleep that hey, out. Hey, hey bleep Whoops. that out. Woo! Oh, we're, oh. we're comfortable today. We are hey, hungry. sorry, it was just that's that would have made the story fun. A lot of people affected every year. Be, bleep that out though. Floss. <laughs> and the make it invisible in my mouth. Like, you know, so Hey, make sure you keep all that though. The panic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 just immediately. Sure keep oh. all that panic. Yeah. Shouldn't be that hard. This shit's easy as fuck to edit. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of bits going all the way around the circle. I love yeah, it. Yeah, it's always today, fun boys. when you when you go back to it. Yeah. But I will say real quick about the whole spitting in someone's plate thing. I don't think I did. Yeah, that. you do. You. Do. He's like, let me address. I just don't yeah. think I did. Now I did a lot of fucked up shit in college and in high school and a little bit in the NFL too, most of my life. But no, I don't think I spit in somebody's plate. Some some guy who's in the NFL right now threw a burrito at me in college. <laughs> he can tells, we say he who? Fucking no, I don't know his name. I was hammered, pissed drunk, walking back to my house one day, and I guess I passed somebody and I shoulder bumped them, probably on accident. Yeah. And all I remember, I remember, is getting fucking pelted in the face and a burrito hitting me in the face, <laughs> and then running up to somebody and kind of getting in their face. Apparently, the kid went to Iowa. And Andrew Whitworth. Was it no, he didn't tell me, but the kid played for the Rams. Was it Kittle? I imagine. <laughs> I imagine Kittle just keeps that secret for this long. He's just waiting for you to That son of a bitch doesn't know I threw a burrito at him. <laughs> yeah. Back in Smoked 2012. Smoked him in the face of the burrito. <laughs> nah, dude. But that dude goes around because I know some guy from the Rams was like a free agent signing. And he was like, was laughing when he saw me. And he was like, I got to tell you the story I heard about you. And he told the story about me getting hit in the face of the burrito. And I was like, and he didn't know who it was either? I definitely got hit in the face of the burrito. I just don't remember who did it. And but I was like fall over drunk. But I'm saying the guy who told you the story didn't know who told him or like who it was? No, he did end up saying it. I think I DM'd the guy and said, I, I know everything. And I, I, but Oh, I but you just can't recall it right I now. I can't recall the guy's gotcha, name. Gotcha, gotcha. But also, I might have spent some guy's plate because I fucking can't recall that story. Yeah. You know? I see what you're saying. Maybe I did spend some guy's plate. I was, I laughed. I was like, yeah, that's pretty fucked up. I mean, I'll bring it up. <laughs> like, I'll bring it up, man. Oh, what'd you but do? hey, Nebraska loves the boys, man. Sounds like they fucking love the boys and love telling fucking no, bad stories about the boys. Like, where's Taylor? Man, I thought he was going to come. Yeah, like, I'm just going to be at Nebraska Spring Bay. Dude. I asked you one time. Yeah, you did. What did I, I say immediately? You. No. Yeah. Like, <laughs> imagine being in like Lincoln, Nebraska. First off, why? Yeah. And then second, I'm fucking there hanging out. I think you'd like it. I, I'm there hanging out and people are like, oh. Like we just are everywhere together all the time. People think you and I just like people get up do and think leave that. People go, really do right. think that. We, we carpool back together, sleep at each other's house. Because yeah. one dude's like in the stands, he's like, "Will." I looked at the club. He's like, "Bussin, bussin," and I didn't know if he like wanted me to be some character because I was just like, "Yeah," <laughs> but I didn't know how to act. You know what I mean? I was kind of like, you know, I'm sitting there kind of like, you know, the, everybody's eyes are on me. I was yeah. like, "Yeah, man." But I'm like, man, I hope I didn't come off as an asshole. Like, the, the boys, let's go. Yeah, I fucking lose it for him. He's yeah. like, God, what a clown. Look at this asshole yeah. down here. Loves this podcast too much. <laughs> what I hate is when you're at, when you're somewhere and then somebody comes up to you and goes, hey, these guys are uh, big fans of you. Would you just go up and say hello to the table? And you're like, yeah, I'd fucking do that. And then they go up to the table and the people that are supposed to be the fans act like they don't even give a fuck that you're there anymore. Right. You're they like, all just kind of sit there and up, let you do your bit yeah. the whole time. Someone's like, someone's like, Hey, Hey, my, uh, my buddy over here loves you guys. He loved, he loved to meet you. Yeah. So yeah, I'll walk over there right now. No problem. It's not a big deal to me. Whatever. I'm eating yeah. dinner. I can put my food down. Fucking walk over on the way, spitting some guy's plate, yeah. but get to the fucking table. And I'm like, Hey, what's going on, man? How you doing? The guy just looks at me like I got a dick on my forehead and he, he doesn't care less. And then I leave and the guy's like, Hey, he'll, he loves that. And I'm like, there's no way. Right. Like, you feel like, you, like how egotistical am I? Like, I'm just showing up. I've arrived. Yeah. I'm here at your table now. Like it. Uh, so anyway. When we were at uh, Jeff Ruby's and we had to like go in one by one to go get photos taken with the group. God the damn. Well, they were at least nice. That's those, true. Those they people, were. Those people they were, were like nice. excited. Wait, and when this? they do that, we're at Jeff Ruby's. You had it's your story, Will. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're all at Jeff Ruby's. It was like Taylor, me, AJ, DB, and this group in the in the back Taylor. room. 
Yeah, well, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Taylor, too. Yeah, Taylor, too. I'm just talking. Yeah, yeah, Taylor as well. Shout out to Taylor. Sorry, Taylor. She hasn't listened to the podcast, okay, so she's deal, not going to hear this. Don't worry. Good deal. I'm sorry, Taylor. <clears throat> but <laughs> they would come up, and first, the lady came up, and she was like, hey, my friends told me if I could get you guys to come uh, come back to the room and take a photo with everybody, uh, I'd get $1,000. So we were like, oh, yeah, 100%. We'll help out that cause. We go back. You know, you get a photo. They were a nice group. They were a cool group. You kind of take a photo outside and stuff. It was like a group photo and stuff. And then we're sitting there wondering like, yo, did that lady get her thousand dollars? Cause she didn't tell us if she did or not. Cause she ended up like walking past. She's like, Hey, thanks again for going to the photo. And we're kind of wondering like, so did you get the money? Like, do we get a piece? Yeah. <laughs> I'll just tell the boys. Are yeah. Are you going to tell the boys a hundred piece or something? <laughs> um, but yeah. I don't know where I was going with that. Me either. It was just a pain in the yeah, yeah, n- not not like, but you, when you're walking back and you step in the when you step in the room and everybody's just kind of looking at you, you're kind of like, <laughs> you know, what, what's how are we gonna have to quote unquote entertain or break perform? the ice? Yeah, break the like, ice. Like you like it better if you just walked in like this and everybody just started clapping and cheering. Yeah, like you're just like, yep, and they all just start fucking losing their shit. Yeah, but when you walk in, you're like, hey guys, how y'all doing? Nice to meet you. And they're all like in the middle of eating and they just like kind of keep eating. Yeah. Cause like, I went well, back there and I, I was, have, I was doing the, uh, I was doing the money sign and no one was saying anything. So I didn't know if she just got us to come back there and do the photo. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like she just said that. And then we came back there and like, What's this arrogant asshole doing with the money sign well, walking in like this. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. All right. Play the video for Connor. Okay. Yeah. Back to Connor. <laughs> What's up boys. Questions for Taylor. How do you anticipate, uh, keeping up you know the high rate of scoring without Corey Davis and Johnny Smith in the offense so you guys added uh, Dylan Radons. he should be a really good right tackle for you you know maybe you guys run the ball more more RPOs uh, just what do you think there thanks for all the content guys appreciate it hey <laughs> okay Connor was whispering at us the whole time hey that know. cool ass voice the entire hey, Taylor, you know man what are you the, the what offense. do you think with the Johnny Smith and Corey? Uh, the high scoring offense, offense, you know. Drafted, Connor, to tackle. answer your question, uh, <laughs> speak up, Connor. <laughs> Just get mad at him. Like, have a little fun, man. It's all right. Um, I, I honestly have no idea. I don't. I think we're going to be fine. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how things are going to turn out. I have no idea how anything else works except for playing left tackle. Um, he said in the video, uh, "Should you we run the ball? I don't know, know if we could possibly run the ball more. We run the ball like thirty five times yeah. a game." Yeah. Like we're like 50 50. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Johnny and uh, Corey are obviously big losses and they got paid and I'm super happy for them. But that's what Todd's job is. Todd and Vrabel are supposed to sit down there and, and make it so the boys are just as successful, if not more successful than last year. Sorry for the super political answer, but it kind of is what it is, right? Yeah, I, I, I mean, don't, you can't just have like hot take. Oh, we're going to run the ball. Yeah, more. we're, we're going to run the ball more. Fuck Corey. Fuck Johnny. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah. We're going to be just fine without yeah, them. Yeah, those guys are yeah, going to, they will know. be missed. They guys are uh, extremely talented guys, and I'm super happy they got paid. Wish it was with us, but sometimes it's just a business. It doesn't work yeah. out like that. Yeah. So anyway. Did you think, hey, did you wonder at all if that dude was a left tackle? <laughs> no. No, no, I mean, if he is, that's fine. Yeah, but, but you didn't like wonder. You yeah. watch the draft so much differently than the majority of people. No, <laughs> you yeah. guys are the first rounders and they're freaking, <clears throat> they're freaking awesomeness. Yeah. I mean, ultimately, like, no. I wish I was in that spot to not worry about watching the draft at all. But, like, you know, me and Corey, when they took the dude on the in the third round, the linebacker with the Titans, yeah. I was like, up. Oh, Pipeline dream, pipeline dream might be over with the boys. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they drafted like a Mike Backer. So yeah. in my in my world, like in my game, I'm like, well, you know, not that you, if you were on the team and competing with them, not that it'd be like a, a competition thing, but like politically, you're like, well, my dream might be over here, boys, with the Tennessee Titans. I don't know if that's gonna happen, but yeah. my first thought when I was like, oh, f-. when they got the guy in the third round, I was like, fuck, game over, a little bummed, yeah, for sure. No, um, that first off. I recognize you and <laughs> yeah, I, I yeah. appreciate you being so honest. Um, but no, I don't have those feelings at all. I think that Dylan, I say Dylan kid. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. The, 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 he's a, the kid that we drafted in the second round. I hope he's fucking the next coming of the best offensive lineman. I hope he's awesome. Hope the Titans, I hope we have a, he's a great right tackle. And if they see him as a left tackle and they think he could unseat me, the whole, I mean, the whole thing is like, good luck. Like Delaney Walker, draft a fucking tight end. Dude. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, fuck. I I'm, I hope he's that good to where they have to question, hey, do we... Because here's the deal. 
I'm going to have a job no matter what. Right. Like you know it's all saying? business. I'm going to play really well this year. I'm going to fucking do my thing. And if they, they think this kid's got an opportunity and there's 31 other teams, I love playing for the Titans, but I, in no way, shape or form did I think in my head when that kid got drafted. Oh man, this is the beginning yeah. of the end for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, in my man. mind, it's like I play five, six more years and then I tell them, Hey, I got two more years left in me. Let's start, let's start getting somebody in here and gro- grooming them. That yeah. type of thing. Man. You know, Cause I want the Titans to be successful regardless of what happens to me from now until the end of my NFL career. I hope the Titans are successful. Yeah. Whether, even if I get cut in the next two years, I hope they're successful. They've forgiven me so much. The city's given me so much, but I don't, I don't, I don't think they drafted him saying to themselves, Oh, this is going to replace Taylor. Right. You know what right, I'm saying? Right, right. Hope the kid's a stud though. I hope yeah. he comes in, hope he works hard. Um, but he's coming into a good room. We have a great offensive line room for sure. Yeah, It's always so it's like, it's always interesting. It's like nice to hear that, like learn that perspective because it's all, it's so different everywhere. You know what I mean? Like thinking like, you know, you, you want to be able to, I guess, play that long for one team. You know yeah, what I mean? And be able to like, you know, if you have the idea in your head, you, You'll come to your back end. You start working with the team. Or if you're like Aaron Rodgers, like, hey, draft a... You're trying to be like, hey, get these pieces around me. X, Y, and Z. (sighs) Pipeline dreams, boys. Pipeline dreams. Pipeline dreams. But I don't think... uh, I think it's really cool. They had... um, B-Hop was uh, with the Oilers and the transition to the Titans. He was there for 10 years. Then Michael Ruse. B-Hop. Yeah. I think Brad Hopkins. Brad Hopkins. He oh. was a he was a one time All Pro guy, left tackle for the for the Titans. Right after that, they drafted mm-hmm. Michael Ruse. Well, before Michael Ruse retired, they drafted me. Yeah. So in the last twenty eight years, they've had three tackles. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Spoiled with some left tackles. Spoiled with some left tackles. So I, I but I firmly believe I'm going to keep that train rolling for a few more years for sure. I got lots of game left in me. Oh yeah, no question. No question. Need doing good. It's doing better than it's ever been right now. Fucking love it, dude. Love that. Love that you love that. Yeah. Fires me up, man. All right, what we I mean, next? whenever I get done playing, okay. I'll be living through you. And I can't wait for that. You know what I'm saying? Come on up, dude. Yeah. Like, I'll be rooting for all the boys. Levante, all the boys that are still playing that I'm, like, close with. Like, that's how I'm going to be doing it through. Yeah. Be right here. Yeah. Making more money than you ever thought of. Hey. Thanks I, to you I guys. I hope so, man. Yeah, thanks to you guys. I'm taking these off. It's making me hotter. What's the what do we got here? This Finally, is, uh, shouts out the boy Jeremy Elton from Utah who made. Are this. we done with ads, by the way? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, good. You waiting? On that the was the longest line. twelve minutes ever. Yeah, I'm sitting there thinking, like, man, when's the next uh, ad coming? He made this like sheet metal art. It's actually behind you, well, in the box, but it's uh, he sent this in. On the ground. Do what now? <laughs> sheet metal art. It's a wall. <laughs> it's standing right behind you. It's in the box, but uh, yeah, he sent this in this week for the bus for whatever. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, let's go, boys. It's a coyote. Sick. Yo, that's fucking awesome. That's sweet. Thank you, Jeremy. (laughs) Fuck yeah, dude. (laughs) Shout out, Jeremy. All right. Hour 16. Do we have anything else that was on the list? The boys are good. They are. Thank you for listening to Bustin' with the Boys. Listen to Father Lawan and Tithe on our merchandise store at Barstool Sports. Click on Brands. You'll scroll down. You'll see Bustin' with the Boys. We got some dope merch in our store, and we also have a lot of cool shit coming. So Tithe, do your stuff. Subscribe. Rate five stars. Share it with the world. Shout us out on social media. That's how we run and function. Appreciate you. We love you. Biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses. Big shout out to you guys. If you enjoyed this episode and love and support Bustin' with the Boys, go to whatever podcast platform you're on and subscribe to us. Leave a review, rate five stars. If you're already subscribed, unsubscribe and resubscribe again. It helps the boys climb the charts. And again, we can't, we wouldn't be doing this and can't do this without you guys and all of your support. We also have a YouTube channel if you like, if you'd like to watch our show or these episodes, they're on YouTube at Bussin' with the Boys. We're also on social media at Bussin' WTB. You can follow us everywhere. Go buy our merch. You guys know that whole deal. But thank you so much. We are forever grateful for you. The biggest of hugs and tiniest of kisses for the boys, always and forever.